WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noon update. The Dow is up 52 at 26,771. Now, the way I read it, based on the Chapman Wave methodology, there should be a little bit higher uh, highs this week to complete um, a pattern that says we should go to at least a leg C and then a leg D. We're at a, at a potential peak B right now. In other words, four higher peaks from the low that was made at 24,701 on the 3rd of June. And for subscribers, we still remain long because we want to see this out to see if there's going to be a chance of a peak D in the, in the daily chart. Now, the S&P is a little bit different. Look, here comes the S&P. S&P is just a little bit different. But um, it has gone to an all-time high. The Dow has not gone to the 26,953 high. So the S&P also has slightly higher highs to come, I believe. And then we should have a bit of a time out. And the QQQ, which is the index 100, is a little bit more advanced than the Chapman Wave methodology. It has gone to a potential peak. See if there's no new recovery high today. And then I suspect we go a little high into the 190s. We're at 188.66. And if you look at the IWM, the IWM has been a laggard for a while, a laggard to gain today. It made that fourth highest peak at PD. And so far, this is the deepest pullback we've had since the beginning of the rally from the uh, 3rd of June at 145.33. Now, we're all interested to see what gold is doing. Gold is up sharply. It's up 17 at a new recovery high at 14.17. This is a breakout pattern. And in that weekly chart, this is only a leg B, and it should actually go in a weekly chart to a leg D. It is about to test the monthly downtrend line. Look at this downtrend line that comes all the way back from uh, way back in um, 2013. So there's a trend line that's about to be hit at exactly where we are right now. So if it goes to the 1422 level, that monthly chart is broken out. That's going to be important. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar's been pulling back very sharply. It's at one, two, three. This is the fourth big red candle day. And it's just underneath trend line support. It's trading down 18 pips at 96.03. Uh, still, the longer term uh, outlook is still looking good. But this is a big test on the daily and the weekly. I'll be back. We'll talk about it in more detail in my show coming up straight after this break in my Tiger Technicians Hour. I'm also the host uh, uh, right now coming up. Hold on, and we'll be back. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.